Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yes, today is another haul, but it's going to be one of the best hauls ever like I've ever done. I've definitely built up my summer wardrobe with colours and everything, let's just say that. But today, yes, it's another haul and most of it is in fact from Depop, believe me or not. I used to love Depop for selling stuff on there, but buying stuff is another case. If you don't already follow my Depop, here it is. I've already just added 10 items on there that I just want to get rid of. I never overprice myself. I just sell it for dead cheap and want to get rid of it. So go follow that. But I have spent a good few hours scrolling on Depop and invested my time. And oh my God, it's paid off because I finally found like sellers that don't overprice the stuff at all and just like wholesome hearted sellers which I'm so happy about because I'd rather invest into like small businesses and like people who are just trying to get rid of their clothes than like places like Urban Outers and stuff like that but I did nip into Liverpool this week and I did pick up about three items from Urban Outers and one from Zara. So I thought I might as well just show you them as well. But most of this stuff is from Depop and there's like four items from like big shops. So I thought why not just show you them as well. So let's just get into the video. Oh my God, if you like colorful things, you're gonna love this video. Like I was saying, so I'm just trying to build up my like dream vibrant summer wardrobe. And I feel like after you see all this stuff, you'll be like, yes, Jess, yes, you're getting there. You've got this, you've got this in the bag. I feel like I have. Um, and today's outfit is in fact very colourful. It's orange. And I've never worn an orange outfit before, but you're very lucky that I'm wearing this. It's already because I did style it on my Instagram and did like a photo shoot with it on. So yeah, if you want to go check out that, check out my Instagram. But... Let's just get into this haul. So I'm not going to start off with the Depop stuff because that's the that's the good stuff. So I'm going to start off with Zara and Urban Outers and then we'll move over to this. So the first thing that I got was this top from Urban Outers. I saw this on, who did I see it on? Olivia O'Neill and it looked stunning. And I have these little jogger shorts that would go perfect with this. And especially because it's been really warm in the UK at the minute, it's perfect for tanning. And it's really vibrant and orange. And then I can't pronounce this. I do it, but I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, so don't come for me, but tell me if I'm saying it right. Eitzfran? I don't know, but it's little stitched in blue Eitzfran logo, and it's really vibrant and orange, and I just love it. I really love it. It's perfect for summer. And this was, I do still have the tag in this, so I will be able to tell you how much it is. This was £12, so not too bad, but... I feel like because it's such a vibrant colour, it is worth it. So the next item I got is so cute. It just gives me Y2K vibes all the way. Is this. This is so cute. Look at the little diamante teddy bear. Like, I just love it. And then it comes down, like, do you know, like, one of them tie tops that you tie around and there's no straps or anything? It reminds me of the bottom of one of them. And then even better, even better, look at the back. It's like got a massive hole in the back and then it ties at the bottom. And I tried it on, it looks so cute on. This was, how much was this? This was 24. I know. But I just feel like it's simple, but it's not at the same time. Like, I feel like I've never saw anything like it before. So I did have to cop that and I'm absolutely obsessed. I am going to wear this all the time. Then my last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters was in fact this gorgeous, stunning, beautiful dress. So I feel like a lot of girls get their dresses from O Polly and I look on there and it's just not for me. Like I just feel like they're quite, what's the word? I do feel like this isn't me slating other people who are shopping on O Polly because I have saw dresses and I'm like, okay, I would wear that. I want to buy that, but haven't. But I feel like they're all kind of the same, just different colours. But I got this from Urban Outfitters and it's like runch and it's so cute. It's like, a, it's green, blue and like kind of yellow, but not really. And it's runched all the way at the sides and it looks stunning on. You wouldn't think it would. 
looking at it like this trust me it looks better on and this was have i still got the label yes 46 pounds i know but it does look stunning on and honestly it's just the same at the back and the same at the front but i saw it on the mannequin and i was like oh my god where can i find this dress so i went up to the lady and i asked her and she said that's literally the only one this is a size extra small and it fits me perfectly and I was like, okay, because I was just worried about like my bum area in case it would be like really up my bum. I don't like dresses that are like that. So I just risked it for the biscuit because she said every single other size had gone. Like as soon as he came in, all of them sold out. Like everyone just got them. I feel like this dress is really unusual. Like you won't really see anything like this. Like, I've never saw anything like this in a dress before, so I thought, why not try it? And I can always take it back if I don't like it. I love it, so I will not be sending her back. My last thing from, like, the bid shops is these jeans. Oh, oh. These jeans from Zara. Um, I am doing a look with these on my Instagram, so... You should be really thankful that I'm showing you these, but I got these from Zara, and they're just this cute flower pattern i don't want to get my years mixed up but this gives me like kind of like 90s vibes like flower power vibes i'm not sure which year that was either 80s or 90s i'm really not sure i'm so sorry but it gives me like flower power vibes and like stuff like that and i love them vibes so why not go with it i am creating a look for this i'm in the middle of doing it i've not got the top I already know what top I'm getting for it. I'm not going to tell you. You will have to go over on my Instagram for that. And I can't wait to style this because the look that I've got planned for these is stunning. It's stunning. And I'm going to... You're going to love it, honestly. I can't wait. I'm so excited. But yeah, these are the pants. I don't want to like, get into too much detail about the look because I don't want to spoil it. But let's move on to the Depop pile. The question is, do I leave the crops till last or do I show them you now? Do you know what? I'm going to leave them till last because they are my most prized possession at the minute. These actually did come today and I can't wait to show you them. Comment down below what colour you think I got them in because I had a big debate over on my Instagram about what colour I should get and then loads of people were telling me not to get them and then loads of people were telling me to get them and then loads of people were telling me to get a certain colour and then, oh my God, it was everywhere. So comment down below what colour you think I got before I show you them. But let's start off with the pants. So this is crazy because I have been looking for like white type of vintage low rise pants for the longest time for this look that I'm putting together for my Instagram. Again, I know I've got so many looks coming on my Instagram. I've got a good six, six, I know. I've got the looks, I just need the location. But anyways, and I was in contact with this one seller, but I was worried because my I am like five eight. I'm five eight. So a lot of the girls on Depop that sell these type of pants are really small. So I was panicking that they weren't gonna fit me. So I didn't end up buying these ones. But I literally went on and found this other girl, and oh my god, 10 out of 10 recommend her. Like she's so lovely. I was worried that these ones weren't gonna fit me either. These like vintage and um i texted her and she literally recommended me a different size and then said for me to like measure my legs and stuff like that because she she wouldn't want to sell them to me and then they're not fit and i just thought oh my god you are so lovely you can tell she's not in it for the money she just genuinely wants to like sell people clothes and make them happy like you can really tell that because she was helping me so much like she put so much effort into helping me like it was lovely so anyway i bought two pairs of pants off her and they both fit like a glove and i'm so happy because i was really worried that they weren't i paid in total i'm pretty sure i paid somewhere around 50 pounds for the both of them with them being vintage i do feel like that's really good like they were 20 something pounds but a lot of people were saying more different prices so they were really good for what i paid for them they, I'm not gonna lie, they don't look too good. 
just like this they don't especially the other ones they don't so i was worried and then i tried them on and i was like oh my god these are stunning i was with my boyfriend at the time and we literally both i tried them on and showed them him and he loved them and i loved them and it was a great moment so these are them and they're kind of see-through but not too see-through so i do need to buy some new underwear for these and I will be doing that and then I will serve on Instagram. But these are them really, really long leg. I'm pretty sure these are size 10. Yeah, size 10, just because of the leg, I needed it to be long. And the solo rise and they're so cute. They have like two little pockets at the back and they're really cute. I'll show you, try to show you. See what I mean? They're not really that see-through like other ones are. So that made me really, really happy. But this is the girl's Depop. If you want to go check her out, she sells so many different types of pants. I really recommend her, like, 100%. And they came literally, like, two days after. Like, they came so quick. So these ones have got more detail to them. These, again, are low-rise, but they have, like, little buttons here and here. And then a fake bar kit at the back and then two more little buttons. Like, it's just really detailed. And these, again, are size 8 so let me just try it fasten these i just i do really love these on again this is going for one of my looks that i'm doing on instagram i'm so excited for this one this is gonna be part of my next look oh my god there's so many like so there's a zip and then you've got to do these and then there's a button as well so definitely secure in these these might not be for everyone. I never used to wear red. I can't tell you. When have I ever wore red? I don't know. So new things, new beginnings. I think this will be the first pair of red pants I've ever owned. But they are stunning on and they look so cute. They do your figure a world of good. Again, I really recommend her. She's absolutely lovely. And literally there's nothing more else to say about these pants. They look so good on. So flipping good. And I can't wait to post on Instagram wearing these. The next thing that I got from Depop. Okay, I'm going to put the girl on here. Oh my God. I paid like £6 for this top. £6? Someone else would like charge me £20 for this top. How cute. We all know your girl loves Betty Boop. I mean, I absolutely adore Betty Boop. Love Betty Boop. So I saw this top and I was like... And then I saw the price and then I was like, oh my God. And then I saw the shipping price and it was nothing. So I was like, how is this girl making money from this? But it's because she makes them herself. But the only thing, the only bad thing about this, but I can't complain for the price is like the cut at the bottom. Like you can't really tell, but when it's on, you can tell. Like the cut's a bit wonky, but do you know what? I don't even mind. I can't wait to style this. It's absolutely stunning and the print is really good as well. Like it's not wearing off or anything like that. I just think it's so cute. It's just a bit of me. It's just a bit of me and it fits really well as well. Just except from the cut at the bottom. But again, really can't, really can't complain. I really can't. Okay, so I've got one more last item until I go on to my crafts. So... I bought this ages ago, I'm talking like last year, and I don't think I ever shown it to you. And I've never used it, but I just, I just love it. Very vintage vibe, so it's this cute little Playboy bag. I'm going to put the Depop person up on here. Um, I did pay, I remember paying like 30 something, I think it was like £36 for this. Pretty pricey, but I feel like it's really unusual. I still need to style this with a look. I think I know what I'm going to do with this now, finally, after like a good year and a half, I finally know I'm going to use it, but it's so cute, and it's just playboy, playboy, and then inside, just plain white, and I wonder if this is actually like playboy or not, well it has, it, do you know what, it has a tag on saying playboy accessories, and it has like a cone and stuff like that, so rabbit head designs i don't know if this is actually like genuine playboy like it's a genuine playboy bag or someone's just made this but i think it actually might be but i just find it really cute i really love it and i will eventually use this 
I just think it's stunning. I love hanging it up in my room and it being on display in my room. Ah! I can't wait. Okay, so they did come. I was waiting to film this video. I was, I had my fingers crossed and I was like, please props come today. I need to film this video. It's Saturday right now and this video will be up tomorrow. I needed these props to come and they did. So I'm very, very happy about that. So here we are. I have already opened them and I've already tried them on. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I was just so excited. So here we are. Are you ready? Ah! I got the pink double platform props. Oh my God. I am tall, but I'm pretty sure these make me like six foot one. Like I feel so tall in these. I tried them on and I was like, I was so tall. But all my friends were like, Jess, don't you dare buy props. Don't you dare. They're ridiculous. I hate them. And then all the people, like, I, I have a few connections with, like, people on Instagram who do, like, fashion and stuff like that. And they were all telling me, like, go for it. Do it, Jess. If you want them, you want them. I, they said they love them as well. So I went for it. And I am so flipping happy. Like, they're just stunning. These are not for everyone, and I will understand that if I get stirs, and probably my friends are probably going to say something about it. I don't care. I am happy with my props. I love my props. They're just stunning. Like, they really are nice. Like, they're just really unusual. These are so hard to get hold of. This colour and the double platform, Urban Outfitters is selling every single colour except from these. You can only get these ones on the Crocs website, and they sell out all the time like I looked every single day and I never was able to get hold of a pair and then I went on Depop and there was one if you type in crops this was the only pair that come up and it was exactly the pair that I was been looking for for months and it was my exact sign I was like this is a sign after this haul I will probably not do a haul in a, for a little while because I do need to save so embrace this haul love this haul share this haul like this haul and subscribe because why not <laughs> but I absolutely love them they look stunning no way I just read what it says inside it it says iconic crocs comfort and my mum tried them on and she wants a pair now as well. She wants a pair for holiday. So I can't wait to style these. I don't have a clue what I'm going to wear them with yet. But I can't wait. Like, I just love them so much. People are going to hate me for wearing these. But I actually don't care. Like, it's none of your business anyway. Let me just wear my crops in comfort and peace. That is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. It means the absolute world to me. We are getting so close to 500. I'm literally like 41 subscribers away. So if you're not already, 60%, I think it's 63% of you are not subscribed to me who watch me. If you're watching my videos, why not subscribe? Why not help a girl out and support me? It means the absolute world. I appreciate every single one of you. Sometimes when someone subscribes it actually comes up and I do message them and say thank you so much for subscribing to me so thank you if you are already subscribed to me it means absolute world and more to me like you don't understand so thank you so much for watching this video I will see you next Sunday bye